All right, we're going to be talking about the three ways that you could be using artificial intelligence right now as a real estate agent in your business to be more productive. And the best part is you can do it all for free using this tool called ChatGPT. So ChatGPT, it's essentially, uh, think of it almost as like predictive text on your phone but way, way, way more smarter than that. And the best part is right now it's actually free. You just go to openai.com, register for a free account. They have a few different tools and this is the one that's text-based. There's another one called Dolly, D-A-L-L-E. That one's for images where you can actually just type in the exact thing that you want it to make and it'll make you custom images and art. But we're gonna work on a word-based one because as fun as the images are, it's not super useful in our business yet but like I said you can actually use this right now in your business so I'm going to show you three different ways number one um, I'm really bad at writing listing descriptions right like well, I'll pull up this listing description here where you can see you know I wrote like an okay one here great condo perfect commute location it's kind of just factual it's not really creative or anything like that so what we're going to do we're going to copy this here and then when I come back over, this is the actual GPT interface here. And what we do is we can drop little comments here. Uh, and this is where we instruct chat GPT and what to do. And all we have to do is actually just, this is what I wrote right here. Rewrite this real estate listing description into something more creative. And then I pasted exactly what I wrote. You can see great condo in a perfect commute location. That's exactly what I wrote on the other one. And then I hit enter. Almost instantly, it starts writing this out. Looking for the perfect blend of beachy and techy, like it knows because I told it 12 minutes from the beach and 20 minutes from Silicon Valley, the tech hub of the world, right? So something beachy and techy, look no further. This immaculate two bedroom, one bath, blah, blah, blah. And it just, it sounds a little bit better. I could add some spacing in it to break it up a little bit, but this part in particular, like I love this right here. I had mentioned that Let's see, I'd mentioned that there's a free shared laundry, not coin operated. I said free, not coin operated, shared laundry facility. Whoops, I didn't have my mouse on there. Uh, right here, free, not coin operated, shared laundry facility. What it ended up saying instead was a shared laundry facility, that's free, no more digging for quarters. It actually figured out like why a human would care to not have coin operated laundry because they don't want you digging around for quarters. Like that's actually a pretty smart thing. It sounds better than me just saying fact based free laundry. It's actually making it a little bit more fun and a little bit more creative. And so that's one way. And it's taking what I said and rewording it. It's not going out and finding new information. It doesn't know the address. It doesn't know things like that, but it knows one thing really well and that's how to communicate. So that's the first way that I would use it. Now, the second way, um, let's say you wanna get into creating more videos, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts, short form vertical format videos. They're kind of all the rage in social media right now. That's what's helping boost the algorithm. Instagram and YouTube specifically are pushing those videos harder than their other videos. Let's say you're not really sure, you have a rough topic in mind, but you, you're not quite sure what to talk about. So what I did was I came in here and I said, write a YouTube script about why real estate buyers shouldn't worry about interest rates. Pretty topical subject right now. It's something interest rates are going up and down every day, and yet we know interest rates aren't everything. So I told it, write this YouTube script. Again, this takes just a few seconds. It punches this out and says, hi, and welcome to our channel. I, I would exclude that, but that's fine. Uh, today, we're talking about why real estate buyers shouldn't worry too much about interest rates. First, it's important to understand interest rates are just one factor, yada, yada. It's all stuff we've heard before, but again, it's making it a little bit more creative. And the best part is at the bottom here, it actually then ties you back into why this is important. I love this line right here. Instead, focus on finding a home that meets your needs and budget, and don't worry too much about short-term fluctuations in interest rates. This line right here is a more professional, a better thing to say than a lot of agents are saying right now of saying, don't worry about the rates, you can just refinance later. At least it's a robot telling it that you need a home that fits your needs and more importantly, fits your budget, right? So it we would have to go through this. We'd have to fact check it a little bit. It may not be 100% accurate all the time, but if this is getting us 80 or 90% of the way, that's a that's saving me quite a bit of time instead of having to sit down and actually type this out. And again, it's doing a better job of than what I normally would do in writing a script.
Okay, so number three, let's say you've already created the content. You've created one piece of YouTube content or like one piece of video content, maybe a market report or a market update that you then want to send out to your sphere or to your clients, right? And so we can take that one piece of content and we can create a lot of other content to go with it. So what I did was I had created this video, some of you might have seen about my favorite Facebook ad for real estate agents, right? And this was a six and a half minute video, but let's say I want a summary to go with it. What I can do is when I'm in YouTube, I come over here and I click on these three dots and I say, uh, show the transcript, right? And pops up this transcript here. You may have to tell it to toggle off the timestamps because you don't want those little blue timestamps in the way. And what you can do is you just grab here, drag down, drag through the whole video down to the bottom, and then hit Control C or Command C to copy that. Then what we're gonna do is then when we go over into chat GPT, I can actually take this a few different angles. So what I'm gonna do, as I said, rewrite this YouTube transcript into a short video, uh, into a short video description. And then th from here down is where I actually just posted or pasted in that entire transcript. You can see it goes down, down, down. This was seven minutes of talking, so it's quite a few words, right? And in the bottom comes up with this. In this video, the speaker discusses creating a Facebook ad campaign for Black Friday that targets motivated sellers in the real estate market. They suggest using KW Command website, yada, yada. It's pretty formal, but what this does is it does a few different things for me from a search perspective. It says Facebook Ads Manager. It says KW Command. It says real estate agents, real estate marketing, things like that. I want that in my description. So now what I'm actually gonna do, I'll copy this, I'll come back into my description, and I'm gonna replace this, this this description here with exactly what chat GPT had created for me. So that's great in one way. But then let's say I actually then wanna send out an email. I said, now write me an email that I would send this video with, right? And so as I scroll down, it's gonna learn from what I had said before and it's gonna continue on with that. It says, dear team, again, I would, I would modify this. This made it a little bit more formal, but it gives you an idea. I wanna share with you a new video, yada, yada. Basically, all I have to do, take this, copy this into an email editor, make a couple little changes, add the link, boom, I'm done. I just created a whole, a whole additional piece of content. I could even then go on and say, now make me a blog post out of that email. And we'll actually try that live here in a second. But what I did first, just as a little piece of fun, is I said, okay, write me an email that I would send this email with, but using a Shakespearean tone, because why not? Let's, let's spice things up a little bit. Here's what I got. Greetings, esteemed colleagues. I bring to thee a proposal of great import and potential profit. Right? I have divided. I have devised a scheme. Like this is such a great description. Like obviously, I would never send this, but it just kind of goes to show the power of what this AI has actually learned to do to communicate with written word. Right? So. <clears throat> I can actually take take the same thing and say, um, now create me a blog post from the above uh, YouTube transcript. And let's see what it does. Let's see if it actually grabs this Shakespearean one. Okay, it didn't, thank goodness. I was saying Black Friday is traditionally a day for shopping, but did you know it can also be a great time to snag a deal on a new home, right? So this is, uh, it's kind of mixing up what would go toward the, uh, toward the buyer or the lead and what would go toward the agent. So this may not be a perfect example, but it might be something, again, if I can get 80 to 90% of the way and then take this, modify it into something that I can use, that helps me out. So this is just the beginning of how we can use this. These are three very basic ways. Uh, this is also just using chat GPT. There's other ones, one called like Jasper, which is a paid one that actually then has a lot of other features. But if you find great ways to use AI in your business, absolutely send it to me. I'm very interested to see uh, what you're coming up with out there. And then if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to reach out and let me know.